Rosh Hashanah Daf Chof Aleph. How's everybody doing? Says Rabbi Zeira, anytime we make a two-day Yantif, and that's because we have a suffix what day Rosh Chodesh is, it's always that we add another day after the first day. We don't add another day before the first day. Why don't we say perhaps the two months before this Rosh Chodesh were 29-day months, and therefore we must add a day before Rosh Chodesh. Because, for instance, if we're dealing with the two months of Tammuz and Av, and both those days are both, both those months are both chaser, the 29-day months. That's something that has a coil. Everybody hears about it, and it's not something that would happen. Rabbi Yochan was upset at his Talmidim. They showed up at a place that the messengers were able to get there from Yerushalayim all the way for Rosh Chodesh Nisan, to tell them when Pesach is going to be. So L'Chaira, they should only be making a one-day Pesach. But he said no. In a situation like that, where the same thing would happen on Tishrei, but because Tishrei has the extra days of Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the Shlichim, the messengers, can't travel as many days in the month. So over there, you would have to make a two-day Yantav. says Rabbi Yochanan, so by Pesach also, you have to make a two-day Yantav. And he's upset at his, at his Talmidim for not saying anything. They should have said no. Our Rebbe said, even in a situation where you know for sure it's a one day yantav, you should make two days. Rava, living in Bavel, he fasted 48 hours. He did a two day Yom Kippur. Because he was always concerned that perhaps Elod, which is 99%, a 29 day month, perhaps it will be a 30 day month. And in fact, one year, he was right, it was a 30 day month, and he fasted correctly when everybody else didn't. There's a similar situation where a person came to Rav Nachman after he fasted a full day for Yom Kippur and he says, by the way, you made a mistake. Yom Kippur is the following day. So Rav Nachman was a little upset at him and he said, Kalim You're right, now I have to fast 48 hours straight, but if you would have came a little earlier, I would have been able to eat a little bit before the, the real Yom Kippur. Similar situation happened with Levi. He told the people, look, in Eretz Yisrael, today is Yom Kippur. Not yesterday, but they asked him to testify, and he said, I can't testify. I can't tell you that that's what I heard, because when it comes to Tishrei and Nisan, you must hear so straight from the Bezdin, Mekudosh HaChaydosh, and he didn't hear it, so he couldn't testify. The Gemara tells us when the season, Tkufas Tevis, it's the season of Tevis, goes into the real Nisan, the lunar Nisan. So if it goes in, if they coincide up to the 15th of Nisan, all you need to do is add one day in other, and it'll come out that it fits right into the Pasuk, that Chodesh Aviv, the beginning of Nisan, should be with the renewal of the moon up to the 14th day of Nisan. However, if Kufas Tevis goes past the 15th, so adding a day is not going to help, so you need to add a full month. So the Gemara tells us that people that travel by sea, they're able to see the moon a little bit better than we can. And therefore, when they see the moon on the 14th of Nisan, going down together with the sun, it's a full moon going down with the sun, then they know they're at the 14th of Nisan and they should burn their chametz. Says the Mishnah, for the months of Nisan and Tishrei, you could be Mechalel Shabbos, to bring the Edom in, because it says in the Pasuk, Tikru Oisam B'mayadam, you must announce it on the Mayid. So the Gemara gives us just to beautify the reason, it's not the real reason, the Mishnah says, because the Shluchim go out to Syria, and if the Mekadosh, the month on Shabbos, and the Mechal Shabbos, they'll gain that night on Matzah Shabbos. But at the end of the day, the Gemara says, that that's not the real reason. In the beginning, there would be Mechal Shabbos for every single month, so that, we would bring the carbon Musaf Rishchodesh at the correct time. But once there was a Churban Abayas, they said the only two months that Yemachal Shabbos for are Tishri and Nisan. Why? Because they contain all the Yom Tavim. You have Sukkot and Pesach. And once you know Pesach, you have Shavuos. So therefore, Yemachal Shabbos for it. Says the Mishnah, if you can see the moon clearly, in other words, everybody could see the moon, you're not the only one. Says Rabbi Yossi, there's no need for you to be Yemachal Shabbos because there's many people that see the moon and they'll go to Yerushalayim. In fact, Rabbi Kiva, the Gemara tells us, 
stopped 40 piers of Edom from going up. So Rabbi Gamil told him, you made a mistake. Because now, people are not going to want to testify when they in fact have to testify. According to Rabbi Yehuda, it wasn't Rabbi Kiv. He says, Chas v'shom de Rabbi Kiv do such a thing. Shas And Rabbi Gamil was upset at him. And he said, that's it. You cannot, you, you can't be any longer at your position. It says in the Pasuk, Mezukah Shavasayim, the Gemara learns from here, Shavasayim is 7 times 7, 49. Referring to the 50 Madragas of Bina of understanding, and Moshe Rabbeinu had 49 out of 50. And the Gemara says, this is if Shleim HaMelech reached that Madrag like Moshe, because he's a king, and yes, it says, but that's Navi, Shleim HaMelech is a king. But if that's the case, we have to explain the Pasuk, the Kas of Yaisha. The Pasuk is referring to that Shleim HaMelech, although he achieved that Madrega of Bina, but nevertheless he couldn't be done other people when he, they came to him for the entire, he needed Edom and Hasroi, he, he couldn't use his own common sense. Have a wonderful day.